you ever try to code from your iPad or iPhone, the biggest hurdle you may have run into is that you cannot really install any of the typical dev tools on it. And that is a big one. So you may have tried to maintain your own virtual machine or to carry around a Raspberry Pi or connect a repository to a cloud IDE and code from a browser. At Blink, we always thought that was a lot of work and that we could make it easier. So today, I'm going to show you how with the new Blink build, you can start a dev environment in seconds for coding, compiling, debugging, and even having a full-blown IDE with just one single command. So let's see how. To start and connect to my build machine, I'm gonna run buildmosh. Build has its own virtual machines, and in just a few seconds, it's configuring one of them for my individual use. Uh, there is a lot going on now. Uh, there is Mosh out of the box, configuring a Warrior interface, so we have private and fast communication between my devices and the build machine, which I will show you later. And it will also install my personal cloud disk and start the Hacker Tools dev environment. Now inside my build machine, and if I do a list, you can see my personal cloud disk as I had it from the previous session. I have my personal dot files, I have multiple code projects I'm working on, as I'm not limited to a single repository, and I even have some random files like uh, bash scripts or org mode files. You may also notice I have SSH keys here. Because this disk is a personal cloud disk, it is a natural place for some sensitive data too, like SSH keys or our tokens. So quick note on security. It is always wise to keep those with some extra protection. So for example, make sure your keys have a passphrase or that you are encrypting those personal tokens. So that was my personal disk. Now let's check out these hacker tools. This is the default dev environment. So it comes with pre-installed editors like Emacs, NeoBeam, or even Helix. And we have a lot of runtimes too. Like I have Cargo, I have Go tools. Now, I want to run a simple JS project to show you our cool new tunnels. So I'm going to start it. And this is uh, exposing the port 3000 in the container, but not publicly. So to access it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a build port at hacker tools 3000 And now if we go to Safari, we run localhost 3000 and boom. We are in. Now, the cool thing is, let's close here. I go back to Blink. And now I'm gonna close the app and then I'm gonna restart it. And when I restart it, all the tunnels and even Mosh will be connected. So everything will be working as it was. Ready for that? Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna be out for a while. So Blink is closed. Now we start it. Moshes is still alive. And we go to Safari. We start again. And boom! Our tunnel is back up. How cool is that? I have one last thing to show to you. And that is how Blink Build plays with Blink Code. So I have one instance of the latest code server installing my. Uh, in my personal disk. And the only thing I need to do is copy the URL and pass it to Blink Code. So we are inside Blink Code connected to the code server instance. And because the code server instance is running with our hacker tools, it has access to all the nice things like the analyzer, the compiler, everything. So we have access to all of the cool stuff that you usually get for free on a Visual Studio Code for the desktop. Uh, we can even like go ahead and run uh, some of the tests if we, if we feel like. I'm not gonna let it finish because this may take a while, uh, but you get the, the idea. I think we can wrap up here our introduction to build dev environments. Uh, the only thing left to do is to stop everything. So how do we do that? Well, we just need to stop using it. So I can close all the tabs or I can lock my device and within one hour, Bill will automatically save back my personal disk and destroy the machine. There is a lot more to show you on Bill. It is as powerful as you need it to be. I will come back with more videos soon, so please subscribe and like. I will see you in the next. Thank you.